Oculus is probably one of the biggest virtual reality companies out there, and with a big name comes a big lawsuit. Welcome back to Interest Things. My name is Jack O'Brien. Oculus was acquired by Facebook for $2 billion way back in March of 2015. But not till recently did Zenimax declare that the co-founder of Oculus, Paul Lucky, violated the NDA agreement when he stole trade secrets from Oculus and brought it to Facebook. This lawsuit resulted in Facebook having to pay half a billion dollars out to Zenimax, and Mark Zuckerberg even had to take the stand. Oculus has stated that they want to appeal appealed the decision, but as of right now, it looks like they've lost. And while Facebook did rush to acquire Oculus, here's the real issue. People are able to own and patent technology, which is fine because, I mean, if you invented something, you should be able to sell it first and get the benefits. I mean, that's fine. I get that. But the issue is that in today's world, this has actually turned into something that is slowing down progress. I mean, like Zenimax, yes, you made the technology, but you weren't going to do anything with it. You were basically just sitting there waiting for a good opportunity. And I mean, we're in a time where we need to be making progress as fast as possible. And even things like virtual reality can have implemented in everyday life that can be significant. These patents have gotten out of hand and as a result are slowing down progress. If you made it and you're patenting it, you better try and sell it fast. Facebook might have lost $500 million in the lawsuit, but they're still looking for new ideas to make money, and the next one might just be by becoming the next Netflix. I mean, this is official. Facebook is going to be releasing a Facebook video app that will be available for Apple TV and other forms of smart TVs. Facebook is really going to have to make a big leap if they really think they can beat Netflix, but I mean, it's Facebook, so we'll just have to wait and see. In addition to Facebook, wanting to beat Netflix, they also want to beat Snapchat now. Ever since Facebook acquired Instagram, they've basically been trying to make Instagram become Snapchat. But the real issue is that Snapchat is totally winning. On top of this, Snapchat has just incorporated ads, which will generate a whole lot of revenue for the company. Not to mention that the CEO of Snapchat, Evan Spiel, has gotten a $750 million bonus from his investors because the company went public. Snapchat gained 50 million users in 2016. This growth for Snapchat is good, but it's also scary because in the fourth quarter, only 5 million new users joined. The slowed growth at the end of the year for Snapchat signals that it might have reached a maximum user basis, just like Twitter did. And just as Twitter, this would not be good for Snapchat. In other news, Travis Kalanick, the CEO of Uber, has announced that he will step down from Trump's economic advisory committee. Now, many people are happy about this because of the hashtag delete Uber thing, but really, we need Democrats to be influencing the president. And I think that Travis Kalanick really just gave in to public opinion here and stepped down because people People wanted him to. At the moment, Elon Musk is still on the advisory committee, along with the heads of other companies you probably like, such as Disney. So really, Uber wasn't doing anything all that different from a lot of other companies, but people just freaked out and now Travis Kalanick has decided to leave because of it. While Travis Kalanick stepping down does say something to the president, Microsoft has also told the president that they would like to see more exceptions for people being affected by the ban because they have people that are employees being affected by this. In in addition to this announcement, Microsoft has also said that they will be moving their headquarters to downtown Detroit. The company has been considering this move for quite some time now, but now it is official. So maybe Detroit is the next Silicon Valley. And hey, I mean, I can afford that real estate. For now. And we're going to end this week with something awesome. This week was the first time the FAA gave approval for commercial drone usage in a Class B airspace. This is significant because drone regulation is important but shouldn't be overbearing, and it's good to see that drones got the okay here. So what do you guys think? Is Detroit really going to be the next Silicon Valley, and is Facebook really going to take over all these other apps? Let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.